Vishal Bhadwaj's Charlie Chopra has one of the most ineffective, unexciting and for lack of a better word, annoying pilot episodes I've seen this year. This is just not how you set up a compelling six episode who done it murder mystery. The dull half of the narrative introduces us to a bunch of spectacularly colorless characters who serve as our suspects, played by a bloody excellent crop of actors, most of whom are just wasted here and not in a fun way. I'm talking about the likes of Nasiruddin Shah, Ratna Patak Shah, Chandan Roy Sanyal, Nina Gupta and Lara Datta to name but a few. To see such exciting acting talent all in the same frame with dreadfully little to do, backed by such little narrative spark is truly tragic. Early on, it felt like I was watching a soul-sucking play or chamber drama. And then we come to the annoying, at times, insufferable half of the show, the central detective character Charlie Chopra, played by Vamika Gabbi. When a rich man, Brigadier Meherban Singh Rawat, played by a commanding Gulshan Grover, is found dead, his favourite nephew Jimmy, played by a well-cast Vivan Shah, is accused of the murder. Thankfully, Jimmy's fiance Charlie Chopra is something of an amateur detective. To clear Jimmy's name, she sets out to investigate the victim's family and social circle, made up of a bunch of calculating, conniving suck-ups, most of whom just wanted his money. Let's start with the fact that Vamika's Charlie Chopra frequently breaks the fourth wall to speak at us. Why, you ask? Is it to take us into her uniquely dazzling mind and draw us into the inner world of the character? No, it's so she can essentially be Punjabi fleabag. Every time something shocking or surprising happens, or she finds a new clue, Charlie looks at us and makes Punjabi sound effects and or swears. Even if you ignore the fact that it serves no narrative purpose whatsoever, the fourth wall breaks also don't add any sort of playful comedy or energy to the series. Thoughtful writing aside, we've now come to expect characters who can speak to us to come with truckloads of charisma and or at least be endearing enough for us to feel for. Charlie is neither. Instead, she merely comes across squeaky and overexcited. It's an interesting idea, kind of, to watch a cartoon infiltrate a serious drama, but the nicest thing I can say about it is it's an experiment that just doesn't work. You've seen Manic Pixie Dream Girl, now meet Manic Pixie Detective. Between the impressively dull central murder mystery and the overly animated investigator, the result from writers Vishal Bhadwaj, Anjum Rajavali and Jyotsna Hariharan is a show that somehow has not enough personality and too much at the same time. As we find out through six episodes that feel like an absolute lifetime, Charlie Chopra is equally a terribly paced, plotted and structured series. The first episode introduces the murder, uninteresting suspects and establishes our detective. The second episode is just Charlie being around the victim's various suspicious, money-hungry family members in scene after scene of people just going up to her to randomly volunteer key pieces of information and bitch about each other. This despite the fact that they've established that she's literally there to investigate them to get her accused fiancé out of prison. It's an interesting point of tension that's never really discussed or explored further. It's only in the third episode, the midpoint of this show, where Charlie decides to take on the case and unlock her inner Sherlock, as we see in a fun montage of her playfully walking us through each suspect's motive and alibi. It's the rare sequence of the narrative waking up from its dreary slumber. Because otherwise, there's zero sense of escalating tension or intrigue here, making it very difficult to care about who did it and why. Even the staging and how the story unfolds visually has a sameness and stagnancy to it. We get scene after scene after scene of Charlie trying to extract information while sipping chai with passive-aggressive relatives along with her peeking through their windows to spy on them while we fiercely battle the urge to scroll mindlessly through our phones. And there are many fun ideas and elements here to work with. A badass female detective who inherited her love of sleuthing from her mother. The eerie, isolated, snowy setting of Solang Valley which seems to have more character than the people who inhabit it. How the show toys with the horror tropes considering the valley is supposedly haunted. Or even Vishal Bhadwaj's enjoyable score which tries to bring in a sparkling tension into a narrative that has none. But it all comes to life in such a stale derivative way. That too within a genre that's already given us so much to celebrate, setting the bar pretty high. Knives Out was gloriously fun and self-aware. As was the cheeky irreverent Agent Sai Srinivas Atria. You want more unbridled imagination? Check out Jagajasus. You want something more solemn and serious, try Prime Video, Sudal or Mayor of Easttown. Even Kenneth Branagh's Poirot movies have a campy, exaggerated charm. But here there's next to nothing to hold on to. Perhaps Charlie Chopra's greatest failing is its characters and how little you feel for them. I've watched six episodes and I still couldn't explain to you how all the family members are related, only that they all have motive and a whiny, sad backstory. 
I couldn't even explain Charlie's character to you. She's the Punjabi girl whose mother went missing at a young age, who grew up to become a waitress, through which she met her entrepreneur fiancé as we see in a terribly staged meet cute. I understand that this show is her origin story, so she's not quite fully the formed genius mind that she's going to become, but it's still far from memorable. Charlie also reeks of a female character written by men. It literally feels like someone yanked a female character from a textbook rom-com and forcibly inserted her into a murder mystery. And as Charlie Vamika is stunning and has a comfortable charm, but partly due to the writing, there's a blankness to her that I couldn't get through. Her Charlie is all on the surface with little beneath it, and great detective figures are all about taking us inside their heads and giving us a sense of what makes them tick. What you're left with is a show that demands to be considered exciting only because of the names attached to it. Vishal Bhadwaj, Agatha Christie, Nasiruddin Shah, an amazing cast. Take all of that away and there's very little you're left with. Which is sad because Vishal Bhadwaj has had a long uphill battle to get a streaming series off the ground. After a great deal of work, his Midnight Children fell through at Netflix as did his Amazon series based on the Kandahar hijack. After all that, that this is his grand series debut is disappointing to say the least. In the end, Charlie Chopra has the energy of one of those exhausting literature classics you're forced to read in school, where there's technically a plot and characters and stuff happens, but it's an absolute slog and all you want to do is go home and watch cartoons. You can watch Charlie Chopra on Sony Live.